So, uh, then let's finish this part here. I select it and shift H, put all the rest away. We don't see <coughs> need to see the drum. Now, I uh, select some polys here, hit the L key, hit the B key for bevel, bevel it out. Maybe a bit less than the other one. Drop the two. <coughs> now I can... Uh, no. I want to bevel this. This gives a nice appearance when we render it with a round level of zero. Drop the two. <coughs> now I can select these two or three edges and go to Vertex Map, Edge Weight Tool, 20%. Click in the viewport and see how this looks. Uh, it's not quite good. We need some additional edges in here. Shift Tab Out. Edge, add loop, I add a, sorry, I add a loop in here, and one in here, and I think we need drop the two, two in here, now it should be good. Yes, very nice. <clears throat> so let's unhide. Mm. Oh, we don't need this here. Hit the L key, delete. Oh, I needed uh, an additional edge in here, so I can select two polys here. Hit the L key, hit the B key bevel it out on the blue handle, about like so, and do the same as before, namely put in uh, a bevel in here with the B key, bevel it in. This time I do it the traditional way by selecting an edge here, Alt-C, put an edge in here, and shift click here and then I can all see this one as well and this should be okay. Tap. Yes, that looks good. <coughs> uh, we could use a little trick to uh, at least give the appearance of as if we would have some distance between these two parts, so select these polys, hit the L key, hit the M key, give them a name like uh, black, make it dark, OK, no specularity, and now it looks shift tab now it looks as if we would have some distance between the different parts so this makes a nice appearance drop the tool and again we don't need these here delete l delete okay now let's see when the drum is in. Shift tap, yes, and shift tap this one. Good. <clears throat> yeah, that looks pretty nice. Okay. The other thing we said was that this front part here looks really 
uh, very heavy and not like a real revolver. So let's try to make something different here. I go out of uh, sub D mode, select these polygons, sorry, edges <coughs> and these edges and delete them. Then I select these here and delete those. Oh, and then I must merge some words, these two and these two. Then I delete this edge as well and do the same as before, make a nice bevel here, hit the B key, round level of zero, make a nice big bevel, drop the tool, add a loop in here, and add two in here, drop the tool. Now I go to select these two and hit the W key and bring these down to about here. Drop the tool. Now I can reselect these polygons here and put <coughs> the bevel back in. So I get these spider things away from the edges. So B key, bevel it in, drop the tool and now let's see how this looks. I think that looks already better. Good. Now there is something which I'm not really sure about how to do it. You know, behind the, the revolver drum is usually a plate which makes sure that uh, the bullets don't fall out. And I must integrate it with this part here and I really am not quite sure how to do it. So. I will pause here and think about it a bit and come back.